I got to the point where I was eating out of garbage cans. I was in and out of jail. I, um, I lost my wife and my kids and I was facing prison time. I, I didn't love myself. So I just self-medicated and um, I didn't want to be alive anymore. I went through depression. And the only time I was happy is when I was using. So it was bad, I hit my low, or I thought I did. And um, I was living in San Francisco at the time. And I, I, came, I came home, which was in Santa Maria. And um, I started attending church with my mom and I, I, I came to know the Lord. I had a relationship with him, I was doing good. I got custody of my children and um, I started compromising. After a few years, I started compromising and I started, uh, I started drinking again. And uh, I got out of control. I was becoming abusive with my children and with my wife and I was facing prison and I needed help. I found out about Teen Challenge through my church. I had seen them a few times and uh, I just felt that tug on my heart that I needed to come here. So I spoke to my pastor and he called and it, was, it made it available for me to get into the program. I have been here almost two months. It's hard. It's hard because it's change and I think if change was easy, everybody would do it. But I miss my family and uh, there's days where I don't want to be here and I do want to go and drink because that was my crutch. That's what I was used to was self-medicating. and But you know, God is, is working in me and He's renewing my mind and changing my heart and He's actually restoring my marriage and, and I have the relationship with my children. And you know, I know that He has a plan for me and I know that He's going to complete the work that He started in me. So what keeps you here every day even in the midst of wanting to go home? because I know what it's like to hit bottom, or at least to get very low. You know, and I know that, uh, that I don't want to go back there again. I don't, I don't, I, 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 I just, it was horrible. It was horrible. You know, and I know God has things, good things planned for me. And there's nothing but, there's nothing back there but death. And I just want to keep pressing forward.